everyone, my name is Emma. Welcome back to Flavor Fridays. Today I'll be making Chinese lamb skewers or yang rou tua. Now these lamb skewers are a very popular Chinese street food, specifically in areas like um, Sichuan and Xinjiang where they use a lot of different spices. It's a dish that I grew up eating most often after nights out, late in the evening, um, and each skewer would maybe just cost 50p. Um, it's called lamb skewers, but I'm also going to skewer some vegetables today. Now, you would find these street vendors with a mountain of lamb skewers, of beef, chicken, and also loads of different vegetables. So for this, I've soaked some bamboo skewers in water. This prevents them from burning when you grill them in a frying pan or even on a barbecue. Some of the vegetables that I have today are some button mushrooms. You can use any variety of mushrooms you would like. And I've also got an aubergine, um, which will grill really, really nicely. So for the skewer, you can essentially chop it in any shape that you would like. I will do cubes today. So trimming off the head, and then chopping up the aubergine into smaller pieces. Since these mushrooms are quite small, I can skewer them whole. So with one of these bamboo skewers, I'm just going to pop my skewer right through the center of that mushroom, like this. If it splits or if it wants to break open, not a big deal. Something that looks just like this. And do the same thing with the aubergine, just pop them through the skewer. I'll do them lengthwise like this, so they grill nice and evenly. Some other vegetables that would be really nice to grill are courgettes, peppers, um, different varieties of mushrooms. Those would all be delicious. You want a vegetable that stands up to the heat and can take on that lovely barbecue flavor. Once all of your vegetables are skewered, they should look something like this, and you can just set it aside before you start um, turning on the grill. So the star of lamb skewers, or yang rou chuan, is the spices and the seasoning that you add to it. Now, there are many different types of spices that you could use in this um, seasoning, in this spice rub, essentially, and these are just some of the ones that I'm using today. So I've got some Sichuan peppercorns, I've got some fennel seeds, coriander, and I've also got some cinnamon and a bit of white pepper as well. Now you can also add things like chili flakes, you can add green Sichuan peppercorns, black pepper. Essentially, the more the merrier because you want a variety of many different spices. What I'm going to do is I'm going to toast off these spices in a pan and then I'm going to grind it down and then add it into this little shaker bottle to season my skewers once they're on the grill. I'm bringing my frying pan up just to a medium heat. I'm not adding any oil into the pan because I just want to dry roast and wake up all of those spices. This is a very simple way to get all of the flavor from your spices. So in a dry frying pan, I'll add my peppercorns, my fennel seeds, my coriander seeds, and then I'll give that a quick toss. You don't need to fry them off for too long, just three to four minutes until you smell all of those aromas wafting from those spices. Now that all of the aromas are wafting from the frying pan, I'm going to empty it straight into my mortar and pestle. I'll add the pinch of cinnamon. I'll add some white pepper and then a bit of salt and sugar as well to balance everything out. Now I'm going to grind everything into a very fine seasoning um, and then put it into this container. Now, if you don't have a shaker bottle like this, you can 
put this into an empty jam jar and you can add this on anything. You can add this into noodle dishes, stir fries, into other meat marinades. It's a very versatile spice rub. Now that all my spices are finely ground, I'm going to pop them into my little shaker bottle, which is exactly what they would have in the streets of China. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, then you can also pop these spices into a spice blender and get them really nice and fine. So I'll just empty out all of that spice mixture into my shaker bottle. Now we can move on and marinate our lamb. So for the lamb skewers, I've got some diced lamb shoulder here. Now in China, what they would often do, and which was also the most economically efficient way to make lamb skewers, is they would alternate pieces of lamb fat and lamb meat so that you get a bit of fat and a bit of lean meat as well, but it wasn't as expensive as buying the beautifully marbled fatty pieces of the lamb. So here I've got some leaner pieces of lamb shoulder and some of the fatty bits as well. So I get both types of flavors. Now this marinade, again, a very classic Chinese marinade. I'm going to add some Shaoxing wine. I'll add some light soya sauce. I'll add a pinch of salt. I'll add a pinch of sugar as well to balance off all of the other seasonings and also to bring the sweetness from the meat. And then lastly, a bit of cornstarch as well. So cornstarch really helps tenderize the meat and gives it a really nice texture. So just a small pinch of the cornstarch. And then give everything a nice mix. I'm also going to add some of that spice rub mixture that I made earlier, being very generous. Now you can leave the lamb to marinate for from anything from half an hour to even overnight. Overnight is obviously best because then you get even more flavor. After the lamb has been marinating for minimum 30 minutes, uh, my lamb has been marinating for about an hour, you can start skewering. So I'm going to alternate between a leaner piece of lamb and a fattier piece of lamb. Um, without, you know, making things too complicated, just simply skewer the lamb meat um, along the skewer. So that was a leaner piece. Now I'll find a fattier piece of lamb and continue to alternate. So in the end, you want something that looks like this. Um, nice and tightly skewered together, but you want a bit of space at the end and in the front for it to expand um, and contract. I'm going to use a grill to uh, grill my skewers, but if you have an outdoor barbecue, that of course would be even better because you can get all of the flavor from the coal and the smoke. So while I heat up my grill, I'm also going to lightly brush my vegetables with some vegetable oil, and I'm also going to dust it with some of the seasoning that I made earlier. So with the aubergines, I'm using a pastry brush, you can just use a spoon if you want to. And then I add some of that seasoning all around the outside. And I'll add more as I'm grilling as well. And then repeat with all of your vegetables. While the pan is heating up, I'm also going to brush it with some vegetable oil. And now that my grill is smoking hot, I'm going to grill off my lamb skewers. Let these skewers sit in the pan for a while to get some nice color and char before you move them around. Once they've got some really nice char marks on one side, you can start to flip them over. They won't take very long because the skewers are quite small. Look at those beautiful char marks on the outside. Mmm. Now, don't forget, if you are a proper street vendor, you always have a shaker bottle of your seasoning. Be generous and put it all over the skewers. Now that they have cooked around three to four minutes on each side, again, it doesn't take very long because they're small pieces of lamb. You can remove them and place them on a platter. 
And then while you still have all those delicious meat juices in the pan, you can grill your vegetables. And of course, you can skip all the meat and just do vegetables. Same thing with the aubergines. After the vegetable skewers have been grilling for around 10 minutes, remember to flip them around because aubergines and mushrooms take a little bit longer. Once they're done, you can place them onto the platter. One last dusting of the seasoning. And there you have your yang rou chuar, or lamb skewers. Now, of course, these skewers taste best in a grill or over barbecue. However, you can also just fry them off using a frying pan, or you can even stick them into the oven under the grill setting. So now it's time to taste test. My favorite part of any video. This takes me right back to Shanghai, being on the streets late at night, maybe after a few too many ting dolls um, or beer, and then ordering probably way too many skewers for my own good. Let me know what your favorite late night street food is in your country. I'll be here eating beef. Mmm! The meat is really tender and juicy. And it's spicy too. Mmm! Mmm! <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to get notified, on all of our new videos, make sure you hit the bell. I'll see you next time on Flavor Fridays.